Hello. After a hot start to the week, it will turn increasingly humid by day and night throughout this week. And that will lead to thunderstorms by Wednesday evening and into Thursday. But before then, high pressure dominating across the UK. That should fizzle away any weather fronts, bringing plenty of sunshine to start the week. But from the south, we start to see that thunderstorm risk through Wednesday evening into Thursday, a much greater chance. But then Friday and into the weekend, a change is on the way. It will turn much fresher from the northwest and it will turn a little bit wetter and windy as we head into the weekend as well across these areas. As we start Tuesday, we still got this weak weather front across northwestern areas, so still a bit of cloud around here. It's definitely a cloudier day on Monday across the north and west compared to further south. Some hazy sunshine to come, potentially some drizzly showers here and there, but elsewhere across much of England and Wales, another day of warm, long-lived sunshine. It will feel quite hot in the sunshine once again. A hotter day to come on Tuesday than Monday. Temperatures likely climbing towards 32 degrees as a peak across southeastern areas, but widely across England and Wales into the high 20s. So very high UV levels. So do take care if you are out and about in the sunshine. Now, as we head into Tuesday evening and into Wednesday, high pressure is still dominating. So a dry night for many through Tuesday night. But it's into Wednesday when we start to see this feature pushing up from the near continent. This will likely bring some thunderstorms to parts of northern France, perhaps affecting the Olympics through Wednesday and Thursday too. But as the humidity rises through this week, overnight temperatures are going to rise as well. So it will start to feel a little bit uncomfortable overnight. Tuesday night at first, but more so into the latter part of the week. So temperatures already about 17, 18 degrees across southern areas on Wednesday morning. A very different story though across the north. Actually, some areas still in single figures across parts of rural Scotland. However, it is going to be a fairly bright day for many northern areas and across elsewhere in the UK. Some hazy sunshine here and there across some northern areas of England, central areas of England as well. But I think where the sunshine does remain strong, again, temperatures could climb towards 31 or 32 degrees. So Tuesday or Wednesday, likely to be some of the hottest days of the year so far. But it's into Wednesday evening when we start to see this risk of thunderstorms approaching from the south. We could see some of those thunderstorms a little bit earlier on Wednesday. So it's really worth keeping up to date with the forecast for Wednesday if you are in parts of England and Wales. But it's into Thursday when that risk becomes much higher. Now, this feature will likely push up into southeastern areas, and then we've got more of a risk across many areas of England and Wales through Thursday. Further west, though, it should stay fairly dry and bright through much of the day on Thursday. It's still another mild or warm night on Wednesday night, quite a humid feel, so it will start to feel quite sticky by Thursday morning. But a risk of some thunderstorms breaking out already by across eastern areas through Thursday morning. I wouldn't take these graphics too literally because this will chop and change through the next few days but just know there is a risk of some heavy downpours. Where we don't see the downpours, temperatures still climbing into the low 30s, high 20s quite widely across England and Wales, but also into the mid 20s across parts of Northern Ireland, some areas of Scotland as well. So widely feeling very warm through much of this week. But they said there is this increasing chance of thunderstorms. Now we have issued a weather warning for Thursday across much of England and Wales. Not everywhere in this warning area will see a thunderstorm, but where you do see them, you could see up to 90 millimeters of rain falling over a 20 four hour period if you do see a few thunderstorms in the same place. Also some very gusty winds and a risk of hail as well. Now things do change as we head into Friday to end the week. Still a risk of some thunderstorms across eastern areas to start the day on Friday, but it's from the north and west where we start to see this change of pattern, low pressure arriving. And that will bring a bit of a change as we head into the weekend. So perhaps some showery outbreaks of rain, thunderstorms across eastern areas to start the day on Friday. but. Widely across central and eastern areas, it should be another dry and fine day and another warm one as well. We've still got that humid feel through Friday. Into the west, humid here as well, I think. Temperatures a little lower though, into the low to mid 20s and rain will start to spread in across parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, perhaps into Wales and the southwest as well. Now that change will become more significant as we head into Saturday, predominantly across western areas at first. The fresher air may not arrive into the southeast until later on in the week, but it is likely to stay quite hot and humid for the time being. So make sure you stay tuned to our forecast, keep up to date with the risk of thunderstorms, and you can do that by subscribing to our YouTube channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.